All right, welcome to another episode from the Chart Reader. So I actually like the group of three that we have here. It's a it's a good spread across a couple safer plays and and crazy plays with the last one, right? But Jumia is the first one. That's the one you see on the screen. Lovely, lovely move. There's so much technical to talk about, and really, Jumia is one of those stocks where I I love telling my viewers I love the fundamentals of this thing, right? I don't necessarily know the financials and this and that, but I love the story right and I'll go over that but the Amazon of Africa oh man that that speaks to me and 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 that's that seems like a very very real business right um, from there the next one I want to talk about is AMD and I'm not even actually sure if I've ever talked about AMD on my videos but there's you know I've been talking a lot on the MEM one I know we did on the chart readers one as well but um, AMD really quickly I know I've got a bunch of um, let me just zoom I think it's it's close enough to where I can just do it right here um, well, that was poor. Nonetheless, AMD has been living in these three lines right there. And three is more than half of the five, obviously, right? So just all, couldn't do it, couldn't do it, couldn't do it. It now is trying, but we need just a little more, all right? So AMD, I'm excited about talking about this one. And then Zap. Okay, Zap has clearly gone crazy, right? It's 100% day basically today, 94, whatever. Yesterday was 123%, sorry, 127%, whatever, right? Um, on the chart readers, I actually said yesterday, um, 17 might be next for Zap, and that was yesterday, all right? So lo and behold, we got to a little higher than 17 today, right? Um, I'll give you my thoughts here as well. Again, this one's on the crazy side, right? So you got to make sure you have a plan before you, you put your money on the table with this one, all right? But um, even the crazy ones are, are I don't want to use the word predictable, but you can set expectations one way or the other and they, you know, either hit like it, like it did with this one, right? Or you adjust if you're wrong, right? But nonetheless, Jamie, I am really excited to talk about these three, but before we do go any further and I give you more of my thoughts and opinions, what are we going to do? Same thing we always do, right? We'll take a look at the daily and the weekly to see how these things are setting up short term. We have our five moving averages. There are horizontal support and resistance lines that I do draw manually myself. And then when we are done up here, we'll use the MACD, RSI, and volume as our lower indicators. Hey, really quickly, if you can please subscribe to this channel, share this video online with your friends, comment good or bad if you disagree. Look, anything you can do helps so, so much with these YouTube algorithms, but for real, just being here, giving me your time, oh, I am so, so grateful for it, all right? So, um, Jumia, look, I'm really excited to talk about this one. There's a lot to like. You got a positive MACD, very healthy 61 RSI, look at the volume green over red, green over red, over all five moves. Like literally everything is beautiful. Before I go into the details with all that, I, I just want to talk about the fundamentals just a little bit. And when I say the fundamentals, I really mean just the story of the stock, all right? And I really love the idea of this company, Jumia, trying to become the Amazon of Africa, right? I, I, most of the viewers live in the US. I, I get like this demographic of where the viewers are from. There's a couple international people. Look, Amazon is huge in the US, right? And I mean, it makes complete sense why. Number one, they're generally very, I don't wanna use the word affordable, but they're at least very competitive with their pricing. Number two, look, it's convenient. It's the, you literally click, click, and someone brings it to your door, right? I don't care if you live in the nicest neighborhood in the United States. I don't care if you live in the worst neighborhood of wherever in the US. I don't care if you live in Africa. Everyone wants convenience. Everyone wants just a, a competitive place where it's it's up to the manufacturers to price it well. Otherwise, I have so much options. I can click the next one, right? The Amazon of Africa, I love that story. I really do, right? And, you know, it's easy to, to understand why Amazon would not want to be the Amazon of Africa, right? There's so much infrastructure it's going to need to set up. It's going to need to, you know, build what it's built in the US. And hey, do they have the money to do it? For sure, right? But 
is it worth it? Would Amazon rather actually reinvest in the US, maybe start doing some stuff in China, maybe some stuff in India? I think there are other regions that, you know what, Amazon's not gonna look there right now. And that helps so much for a company like Jumia, who's saying, you know what, I'm gonna focus where the biggest players aren't, right? And that's, that's, a, that's an advantage, it really is. Now look, Will they be the winner in the next 7, 10, 15, 20 years? Look, I don't know, right? I'm looking at a daily and weekly chart. Um, I think until another big player comes in, you know, we'll see what happens. But I like that story, all right? And, and to me, you know, I always say I live and die by the lines, right? I let the colorful lines tell me what to do and this and that. Sometimes when you have a little bit of both, when you have this fun, like, and believe me, I wish I knew the, the finances, right? I think that would help me a bunch. I wish I knew the OPEX and all this sort of, I just had some kettle corn and I'm choking on something. Let me drink some water. Sorry, give me a second. I'm so sorry. Oh man, sorry about that. Great, but yeah, I uh, I like it. I, I I really like it. I wish I had more details, like I was saying. But hey, even a little bit of fundamental detail, if you can add to some technical analysis, is a beautiful thing, in my opinion. All right, so um, that was just kind of my rant on the on on my opinions of the company. From there, look, I I literally just said it. I'm gonna say it again. Beautiful, nice. Oh yeah, beautiful. And when you've got all that going, we, we literally have four things, right? I, I often say when I move my personal money, I'm using something called the one and the two. You know, on these, I have more than four. I have this up here, I have a couple other extra things down here, but you know, just because you have more doesn't mean it's better, right? And on this stack, we have four things. Number one looks beautiful. Number two and number three, which are kind of connected, right? Oh, these both look nice. They both have that same divergence. They're both low enough and look like they're hungry to go up. This thing was just not that long ago at an RSI of 90. Not that long ago, it was just horizontal, living in the 80s, living in the 80s for two weeks, right? 60 is low. And let's talk about this volume. Let's zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. Look, it's not one of the biggest ever, but this is one of the biggest volumes since here, at least since the middle of 2021. This is easily a top 10 volume. I'm just kind of quickly looking at the lines and, and counting, right? But it's definitely a top three of this year. It's definitely a top three of the last two years. And it's probably a top 10 of the last... Oh, I did the math wrong, but yeah, you got it, right? Like, it, it, that's that's some good volume, and volume is king. Volume is queen for my ladies out there, right? There's been a lot of buying. All we've been doing is bouncing on the lines, bouncing on the lines, bouncing. I mean, this is beautiful. Where's my next line? <sighs> Goodness, no, nah, let's, uh, let's, let's, okay. I'm gonna delete that thing right there. I don't even know why the numbers aren't right there. That's good, you see? I don't know why those are there. Let's delete those. We'll, we'll draw some extra high ones when it's appropriate for now. Oh, that's my kitty in the background. Hold on, baby. We're doing some Jumia stuff. Let's come in here. Oh my goodness. I hope you see it before I say it. I mean, red, 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 green, 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 red, 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 green, green. Like, there are not a lot of places to draw lines. I guess I would put one there. It looks like it hits the bottom of that. It looks like it's the top and bottom of those. I like, this looks like it's hungry for 13. And then really after 13, goodness, it's it's basically 19. And, and I'm gonna go to the weekly just so it's a little easier to see. Look at the weekly chart, right? From here to here, this channel is red, 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 green, 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 red, 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 green, 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 red, red, red. And lo and behold, it's basically the channel between here and the 200. That's a beautiful line. What's the 200 actually sitting at? 1260. Ooh, excuse me, a little bit of a hiccup. I think between 1260 and that 1320 line, ooh, excuse me, I just drew. I think that's a pretty good range for what's next, but Jumia. Jumia looks solid. Jumia looks good on the daily. Like I said, Jumia looks good on the weekly, right? It looks like it wants to get to the 100. We've got a positive MACD, a nice RSI that's, uh, it's a little high. 70's not low, but hey, 80 is where I start ringing the bell. And again, just look at that volume. It's been, it's been 
I've used the word beautiful a little a little too much, but yeah, that's 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 nice right here, right? So Jumia, let me know your thoughts. I haven't called it J Mama in a good while, but I do call this thing J Mama when I'm not recording and I just look at this thing. So uh, Mama's been good right here. I'll, I'll easily say that. All right. So let me know your thoughts. Let me know your opinions, even if you disagree. Let's talk about AMD, all right? And look, I tried starting the video with this. I didn't do a very good job. I'm gonna do this one more time. Let's come into AMD, because we've I've been talking about AMD a lot. All right, that's at least an answer. Look, um, there it is. That's why I couldn't find it. I mentioned NVIDIA. Okay, so NVIDIA, a, 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 <laughs> okay, AMD. All right, I made this screenshot on the third. And the real issue, and again, obviously I'll show it when we get there. We've been so tight. We've been so tight, so tight, so tight, so tight. I really had no idea if it was gonna go up to here or down to here, all right? And one thing I kept mentioning was watch NVIDIA because the way NVIDIA goes, it, it really should follow, all right? And again, that was made on the third. So since the third, and, and look, the third was an important one because of that doji. I, I, I mentioned, I'm not a candle guy, all right? I, I very much am a break a line kind of dude. The one candle I always give respect to is a doji, especially when it's textbook, all right? The day before was a monster candle that broke three moving averages, all right? And not just that, but we've been battling those three for a very long time, at the minimum for one, two, three, four, five, basically five full weeks and a bit before it broke it, right? So interesting doji after that, and then all of a sudden, boom, boom goes, right? It very easily could have come down, right? And I just really, like you can see the MACD was just so, so tight, so, so tight until it went. RSI was just so, so tight, so, so tight until it started going right. And, you know, it's starting to make that move again. Today, we see an interesting doji, all right? There were people for moments who thought we should have broken that line. There were people that thought, no, no, no. You know what? We actually should lose the entire, like, look at this thing, right? The low of the day was 174.70. Yesterday's open was 174, 80 something. This thing actually went below the low of the open of yesterday. Excuse me. This thing was ready to lose the entire candle. This thing was ready to break that big resistance. It basically decided to move 80 cents in a seven hour trading day, right? This is uncertainty. That, that's why I always respect the doji. Tomorrow could be very telling, all right? And what am I looking for? Look. If we break this line, green, 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 red, 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 nothing, 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 we could be having a very, very quick fly up. I mean, that's going to be the first line. <sighs> Give me a sec. I don't know where to draw the next line. Because, get out of here. Where's the weekly? Oh, man, are those all-time high numbers? Get out of here. Oh, yeah, those are all-time high numbers. Oof. AMD is knocking that's the only line i need to draw i'm gonna hit escape because i don't need to draw another one what's this close 192.50 what's oops sorry what's this close one okay we're gonna put our line right there let's take it to 190 oh beautiful 192.50 let's edit this thing to our golden line that's my all-time high number all right, clearly there's another full green candle right there. Clearly the all-time high is actually this wick all the way up here at, at what? 230 basically, right? 227 and change. Break this 192, break this 192. I'm gonna say it one more time for the people in the back. Break 192 and I'm thinking all-time highs. All right, now between here and here is gonna be a little bit choppy, all right? But I mentioned it earlier, I haven't shown it yet, right? Keep an eye on NVIDIA. NVIDIA is actually doing the same thing as AMD right now. NVIDIA is a little bit choppy right here, but it's either trying to get over this line, this golden line, I'm gonna, I guess I'll draw it, why not? This is NVIDIA's golden line, all right? Obviously, all-time highs is up here, right? But if you can get over 
what basically looks a little bit higher. Oh man, that's my OCD. I'm gonna just call it right there, whatever. Good. If we can get over 135 in NVIDIA, I think it's gonna be really hard for AMD to not get over 192. I, obviously, they're two very different companies. Obviously, they're two very different financials, this and that. They're actually kind of competitors of each other, right? They're each trying to sell basically the same semiconductor chip stuff, right? But um, it it just seems like it's, it's gonna follow. The one important thing to say is, look, let's talk about this 100 moving average before I move on. It's been battling the blue line, battling the blue line, battling the blue line, battling the blue line, and now it's still, I would say, battling the blue line. That's a good candle break. That on any other chart would be confirmation. There are just too many moving averages right here, and I need that little bit more. I want that little bit more just to actually believe, and really, I think the line is 183, all right? So I've had this... Did I just draw this? I don't even remember. Give me a second. Cool, I had that right there. That's what I thought. I don't remember drawing that thing. I, I, I think if we can get to here, that's gonna be nice. Now look, maybe that's a little bit too high. I think I'll put it right there. 181.50, I think that's a good number. Now look, if your risk tolerance is a little tighter than mine, you can maybe keep that 179.50 that I originally had, right? But um, I think that 181.50, I think that's gonna be a good number. Um, it'll obviously get us over, over Monday's candle. It'll be a good definitive um, doji confirmation. Hey, if we still go up one more time, we might even get that golden cross right there with the eight and the 100. AMD looks good. It really, really does. The issue and like the only hesitation I have when there's too many moving averages, crazy things happen. I've seen it literally suck things back in for, for seemingly no reason. You know what I mean? But get me over this line. I'm going to start thinking this line. Get me over this line. Get me over 193 basically and all time highs is, is what I got to think. All right. AMD, I'm liking this chart for sure. Um, let's look at the weekly. Why not? Oh, look at this thing. It's a nice RSI. RSI on the weekly got to 87, dropped as low as 27. Seems like it's ready to go back up at least to 70 something and we're only at 53, right? So maybe it won't break the, the 192, but I think there's reasons to think it's gonna try to test that line. Now, the weekly is definitely saying, hey, I might've been a little cavalier and 203 should probably be the golden line. I'm gonna leave this right here, and I think we'll we'll talk about that. I'll probably make, I'll, I'll keep this one in the rotation, um, but yeah, AMD is looking interesting again. Keep two o two o three, yeah, in in your back pocket. All right. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your opinions, even if you disagree. Let's end it with the silly one. All right, Zap. Um, this is a monster chart. This is. This is a chart that makes people money and loses people money, all right? Because you start to see this, you start to see this, and you you, you want to jump in, right? Um, look, there's money to be made. And and sorry to zoom in the wrong way. The, the reason for that, look at this gap. There is, there is absolutely nothing. And as I zoom out, there is abs there's literally nothing on the daily. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. There's literally nothing on the weekly. In fact, the weekly is actually saying, I think we want to come all the way here. And believe me, that's a very silly number. And I'm not going to give you a $70 target on this video, right? But um, I started the video with it. Yesterday, I really thought 17 could be next for Zap. Hey, lo and behold, look at that, 17 for Zap, actually a little bit more, right? So there are, there are ways to keep things realistic. Truth be told, I, I can't really show you why I thought that because that was actually on my personal chart. I, I don't remember if it was the one or the two, but yeah, 17 came from something we're not looking at here. But um, yes, that said, two things, well, actually three things, and I'll start with the simple one. Hey, if you can subscribe, if you can share, oh, that'd be really appreciated. Um, if you are just about to start a position, all right, you need to remember two things. In, in, the number first thing is in the last two days, people have made some silly money. 
people saw this thing go from seven to 17 plus, all right? So people have made a lot of money. And if this thing comes down a little bit, they're not necessarily gonna care, but you for sure will, all right? So you, you gotta remember that's a factor. The other thing is, look, we're now pushing a 90 plus RSI. This is obviously a very good MACD, right? But that's a really high RSI. And the RSI is basically supposed to tell you, hey, is something overbought or oversold? And it's generally overbought at 80. We're at 90 plus, right? So. It's, 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 it's starting to feel like this thing needs a little bit of a healthy cool down. The issue, like I said, there's no resistance. There is no educated line I can draw on this view. There's no educated line I can draw, <clears throat> excuse me. Oh, bless you, babe. I can draw on the hourly. If I go to the like two hour, right? There's, 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 there's no line. This was just a crazy, crazy gap down and a reverse split. And, and, and we're just making a relatively crazy move. All right. Now look on the two hour chart. Okay. Even yesterday, even yesterday, as it started to make a peak, it gets really high. It gets really low. Even today, it was relatively low. We're now pushing a, a, an 85 on the RSI on the two hour, right? It got to 90. So, hey, maybe this thing still can push for a couple hours, right? As I like, that's basically how I'm playing this thing. You got to come into the small time frames, and really, you got to have some tight stop losses, right? I'm not here to tell you what to do on stop losses. Like, stop loss theory is a real big thing, but. Um, yeah, this definitely is a finger on the mouse type of trade. Where do I think this is going next? Man, I'll be honest with you, the next I don't even have on my the one and the two, okay? And that's why I actually think we're kind of due for a little bit of a cool down. Otherwise, my goodness, this thing might just make a really silly rip. And it's just, like I said, have your finger on the mouse as you start to lose the lines bank, as you start to regain, hey, maybe, maybe re-enter, hey, maybe, Average up. I'm not here to tell you what to do with your money, right? But if this was going to go down, there's basically three lines I'm going to look for. Okay, I'm going to look for 15:30. All right, I'm then actually going to come all the way. No, no way. No, 15:30. 12. Not. Let's. Okay, 15:30. 15, 15. Whatever. Right. 13. And then seven. If this loses 13, right? What's the bottom of this actually? It's, it is actually where I'm clicking, 1275 basically. If it loses 1275, it's gonna be a very fast fall down, basically to that, that, that $8 line roughly. Hopefully, we never go below 15. Hopefully 15 is where this thing's able to reset a little bit, help a couple lines kind of cool off, and then, hey, we'll see if it can hold or recover, all right? But one more time, on the way down, it's 15, it's 13, 1275, whatever you want to call it, and then eight. 13 to eight is the scary, scary, all right? And for real, I don't know what to tell you on the way up. I think maybe like 23-ish is a maybe, but I'll be honest with you, that's actually kind of a blind guess, and all I'm really doing is a is a, a modest percent gain, and it's not a modest percent gain, it's actually a very big percent jump, it's just literally, I'm, I'm looking at a triple digit yesterday and a, and a monster double digit today, right, so... Um, let me know your thoughts. Let me know, you know, obviously Tesla is doing well, right? Tesla is making its way up. Tesla is an EV stock. Zap is actually an EV stock as well, right? I think it's a bike one. I don't remember. Um, there was another one that I was looking at that's like an EV bike one. I don't remember. Sorry. Maybe it's this one. Maybe it's something else. But um, hey, this thing says electric vehicle group in it. When Tesla does well, EV things tend to do well, right? So um, yeah. I think this has been a long one. I think we got some good ideas on this one. My wife's also home. So let me know your thoughts. Let me know your opinions. Even if you disagree. Hey, thank you so, so much.